When Brian told me he would attend law school at the University of Georgia, I was both surprised and very happy. As I live in Athens, Georgia, we were able to spend time together every few days. I got to know and enjoy his friends. One weekend, Brian invited his classmate, Maggie, to join us for a home-cooked meal. Though I can't explain it, I can honestly tell you that I knew within 15 minutes of meeting her that Maggie was the young woman Brian was meant to marry. Maggie and I talked about this months ago, and I promised her it was going to be more of a toast and less of a roast. So <laughs> we're not going to talk about the time that Maggie double booked herself for barristers and Hallie had to lay someone underneath the Georgia Theater in a ditch. And we're not going to talk about the three Black Friday state records that she owns. And we're going to talk about how over the last three years plus, she's been the most amazing girlfriend, fiance, travel companion, future daughter-in-law, and everything else. Can't wait to watch, watch you turn into a wife, and maybe one day a mother, grow old and do all those things. But most of all, and most presently, I think you're gonna be the most amazing bride tomorrow, and I wanna wish you all the best. Your dad walks you down the aisle. So if everybody would please raise a glass to Maggie. Maggie has the ability to make everyone feel like they're the most important person in the room. She'll sit with you on your worst days and be your biggest supporter on your best ones, like the sister none of us have. She is thoughtful, kind-hearted, supportive, generous, and always knows how to argue her point. Maggie, we only get to hang out every once in a while, but every time I'm there with you guys, you make me feel like I'm at home. And uh, I just want to say I'm so very happy that my very good friend has found such an amazing woman and, and partner for his life. but he's made his way into all of our hearts. His quiet but intentional humor catches you by surprise. He has an unwavering affection for Maggie that we all saw from the start. Watching you and Maggie fall in love has been the joy of my life, and I am so very thankful that she is marrying a man that I know is gonna be just the very best, love her dearly, be her best friend, and take care of her, and I know she'll do the same for you. He's selfless, and he cares very deeply about the people in his life, and I witnessed that numerous times with both myself and with his friends and his family. Thank you for that, man. Always remember that everybody in this room is with you, and we always have your back because you've always had our back. take you, Maggie, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Maggie, take you, Brian, to be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better or for worse. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. husband and wife, and Brian, you may kiss the bride. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Weiskull. Hey, the way I do it, always overthinking every aspect. Settle down, let it go. Settle down, let it go. Oh, oh. I know to many in this room, Brian is a northerner. <laughs> Did not expect to laugh at that, but to be fair, he is. He's always been incredibly focused on and good at whatever he's passionate about. When he cares about something, he approaches it analytically and systematically, excels and becomes a leader. But Brian's not the only problem-solving great lawyer with a taste for nice things getting married today. <laughs> Maggie, you are absolutely the person everyone wants in their corner. You're loyal, passionate, and light up every room that you're in. And most of all, I can't imagine anyone else but you sharing a life with Brian. Maggie and Brian's relationship moved pretty quickly. Immediately going on a date the day after they met and a vacation to Kiowa two weeks later. When Maggie and Brian took the trip to Nashville and I finally got to meet Brian for the first time, it was clear how well they worked together. Brian, thank you for making Maggie the happiest I have ever seen her, excluding the time that we got to meet Taylor Swift because I think that one comes pretty close. <laughs> Maggie, I cannot ask for a better big sister. You're beautiful, extremely smart. You're ambitious, generous, fun, fashionable, a great friend, and most importantly, your strong values and character from your deep faith in Christ. I'm incredibly blessed to be your little sister, and I love you so much. Chris, you really are the beautiful bride you dream you'd be as a little girl, and I'm so proud of the godly woman my little girl has become. And Brian, you have given me the greatest gift someone can give a dad on his daughter's wedding day, which is knowing that in your eyes, you just married the best girl in the whole. <laughs>